And your husband is like, oh, girl, you smell good. I'm like, I know. Welcome back to my channel um, okay so I have to talk about before we get into this video I do apologize for the quality of the videos um, a couple of videos that I filmed I've noticed that I've been out of focus I haven't quite mastered the focus for this camera so just bear with me that's why I'm always looking at the viewfinder to make sure I'm in focus but just bear with me I'm trying so sorry about that okay so Today's video is going to be all about the skincare products I am loving at the moment. Um, so while I was pregnant, my hormones dealt with my skin. Now that I've had my baby, I am literally um, trying to work on my skin. I thought I was going to be one of the ones that was going to have glowing skin, but that no, that was not my reality. I had a lot of, not acne actually, just spots, especially around my jawline and... Um, yeah and on my back and a bit of my chest but it's all it's clearing up obviously just bear in mind that my skin is not perfect and it's still a working condition <laughs> condition what it's still a work in progress so with that being said let's just get into the video so what i actually use to wash my face you would not believe it it's not even a soap that's specifically targeted for the skin on the face i use dove cream wash for my face believe it or not the deeply nourishing one and it's the one without the scents or any of that fancy stuff. It's just a plain Dove cream wash. It's just amazing because it's so cost effective because I use it for my face. I use it for my body. I, use, I Sometimes I even use it to wash my hair. Like it's so, Dove is amazing. But I tried using Dove a while ago, but I was using the bar soap and that could be quite stripping. But using the cream wash, it's working for me. Okay, so you can try it, but just beware that everyone's skin is different so but this works for me so this is why i use on my face and body and everything sometimes when i use um the face wash i use this spin brush now this is not a clarisonic or any of that fancy stuff this is just from amazon i'm gonna link it below i think this was like 12.99 or something like that but it does the same thing as all the other brushes do okay so it comes with like different brush heads but I have broken some because I'm very rough handed and um, yeah but this is the microfiber one so but this cleans my skin the way I need it to clean so on the days I don't use the spin brush I use this Freeman's feeling <laughs> I'm so tired Freeman feeling beautiful gel mask and scrub it's the um, charcoal and black sugar when i use this like you can tell like it's i actually got this in lagos when i use this on my face my skin feels so soft afterwards bear in mind it's actually an intense scrub so i don't use this every day i use this like maybe once a week because i don't want to over exfoliate and um the beads are quite um big well beads the grains the sugar is quite big so it's not really like granulated to like a fine texture it says it detoxes and exfoliates or smooth skin which it does and obviously the charcoal so when you put it on your face you can kind of like feel it getting a bit warm and i guess that's because of the charcoal but it's great like i really do like it so that's like my main exfoliating thingamajiggy right next <laughs> so next is a mask and okay i don't do all of this every day i don't like I'm, I'm showing you all the products i use but i don't use them together at the same time so sometimes i use the spin brush and sometimes i use that one and sometimes i use this face mask but i don't do it all in one day because that's just way too much for your skin so i try to like simplify my routine so my face isn't overwhelmed so yeah so one of the masks i like using is this origins original skin it's the retexturizing mask with rose clay this is amazing i go for products that help with the texture of your skin because i like my skin to feel smooth so when you're applying your makeup it's like just like a nice base so all of this is not helping with the focus of this camera is it no i know they have a charcoal one as well but I just wanted to go with this. So I really like this mask. Um, I've used it, um, I think I've used it for like 
two months but I skipped a few days because I just forgot to use it but the times that I have used this it's you know I like the way my skin felt and looked afterwards you only need a little bit like you would think that you'd run out quickly but you only need a little bit a little bit goes a long way so this mask I'm about to talk about has literally been my go-to mask anytime my skin is acting up when I had like my worst acne I and I would insert a picture I used this mask and it literally helped me a lot so and it's very simple two ingredients you can find it in your kitchen and it's turmeric I have been using this for a long time before it got popular okay so it's turmeric and honey that's all you just mix these two together I actually made a fresh tub yesterday and it's in the fridge I like the feeling of like the mask when it's really cold sometimes I put lemon in it but I've realized that lemon is a bit too harsh for my skin so I just took the lemon out you could actually make this into a scrub you can add sugar as well and use that as an exfoliating scrub but I just like to use it as a mask because you know I love the way it glides onto my face especially when it's cold it just calms all your redness down and just does what it does so it's just regular turmeric this was like what one pound from Sainsbury's any turmeric would do it doesn't need to be fancy and I got this from a hair shop it's raw honey so what they say is raw honey I hope it's raw honey but yeah so you just mix these two together slather it on your face 20 minutes after rinse it off and boop done so I was hearing a lot of good things about manuka honey so I tried it this tiny tub <laughs> was like seven pounds I was annoyed because it's quite small to be honest I don't know if it's this brand but I haven't really seen a difference like that or maybe I didn't use it enough to tell but anyway so I like if I don't use the manuka honey I use the you know um this natural honey so yeah I feel like I'm talking fast but I just don't want this video to be too long I got this yesterday from the hair shop it's an aloe vera gel I've heard a lot of good things about aloe vera in terms of scarring I have um, leftover scarring from you know the breakouts from pregnancy on my jawline and they're they're not horrible but they're just a bit I need them to go hopefully it works because I'm just wasting my money anyway <laughs> You know, skincare is one of the things that you actually have to invest in, but I just try to be not frugal, but I just try to, you know, get things that are have multiple uses and could be cost effective because to be honest, if we're being very real, the less things you do to your face, the better for your skin. Like slapping on a bunch of products is not really a good idea because your skin can get overwhelmed and it's like oh my god stop it but um yeah so okay moving on to toner i have two um <laughs> as you can see this is empty and this is a big bottle this is the pixie vitamin c toner i really like this toner it makes my skin feel really smooth and it actually gives my skin some sort of glow to be honest well i don't know why i said it like that some sort of glow but yeah i just like the way my skin looks after this um in terms of like dark marks because that's my actual main problem with skin with my skin is the scarring across my jaw that's like my main issue I mean it's not a lot but you know that's like my problem area my jawline so all the skin products that I use I try to get products that you know are used for that you know to help help out with scarring but to be honest I don't actually think you can 100% get rid of scars from acne breakouts and stuff like that I don't actually think you can it's always going to be lingering I mean it's going it might look clear but deep down I don't I don't think it clears off completely 100% I think you can still see a bit of you know and by the time you've cleared that you get another pimple anyway so what the hell I'm just trying to reduce the appearance okay I'm not really trying to go for like 100% clear skin because I don't think that's possible with my skin because I get stressed a lot and when I'm stressed I break out so we're just trying to keep it at minimum so anyway so i love this toner as you can see it's literally finished and i got one for my mom so i'm gonna be stealing hers and um i also like this um this toner by ole henriksen it's really good i use this every day but this one i use it like obviously this is almost finished as well but i use this spot i mean this spot because it's a spot on the bottle i use this toner like three times a week because it's stronger than the um pixie glow so i don't really like to use products that are really strong a lot on my face i just try to minimize the use because 
I don't know, I just feel like the skin gets overwhelmed. Like, you know, it's a lot a lot of things going on. And I'm someone who touches my face a lot because when I'm thinking, I'm always like, mm. <laughs> like I'm always touching my face. So, um, yeah, I just try to do less is more, basically, for me. And these products work for me, but they might not work for you because everyone's skin is different. But, you know, you might find something that will be quite useful in this video, which is the whole point of me sharing it. So, moving on. So, after the toner then moisturize and this is what i use <laughs> it's small because they didn't have the big size and i really needed it so i was like i'm gonna get the small one until they restock so i just use nevia for my face that's it pop it under my eyes on my forehead my cheeks and my jaw moisturize 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 give myself a face massage and that's it simple nevia is clutch i've been using it for years and I don't know why I stopped using it, but we're back on the Nivea train, so it's awesome. So during the day, actually, the only other thing I put on my face is SPF. I don't know how I forgot about that. But yeah, so this is the SPF I use. Um, it's by Neutrogena, the Hydro, Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion. It's amazing. I don't really like the smell, but whatever. Um, and it's 50, it's um, SPF 50, because I was using this when I was in Lagos, because that sun that sun does something to you. It's just too much English, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm so tired, honestly, guys. I'm just, this has nothing to do with skincare, but I'm tired, but I'm determined to get this video out to you. So let's move on. This is random, but it's part of the things that I'm loving. It's um, shaving gel by Ole and it's the vanilla cashmere one. It smells amazing because you know, if you know me, you know I love anything vanilla, vanilla ice cream, vanilla milkshake, vanilla scented anything. That's my jam. So this smells amazing when you're fresh out of the shower. And your husband is like, oh, girl, you smell good. I'm like, I know. You know, people online are just very funny. So if I don't put this deodorant in there, they're gonna be like, she doesn't use deodorant. Oh my gosh, that's so nasty. So I do. And it's the Nivea brand and it's called Pearl and Beauty. It smells very like regular deodorant. Yeah. I was using cream deodorant for a while, but um it started to stain my clothes and I didn't like it. Not stain like a colour, but it would get like tacky. No ma'am. So we're back to sprays. Okay, so for my body, <laughs> I use the cocoa butter, Palmer's cocoa butter. Number one, I love the smell. It makes my skin feel so smooth. And just to show you how much I like it got one got two <laughs> got three <laughs> so that's it um i hope you found something as in this video that you want to try um let me know um um, um i keep saying um um that's because i'm really tired and i have to go and eat because i haven't eaten yet and um yeah my little one is taking a nap so it's like perfect timing to film i think that's the main reason why i'm rushing because i know she's sleeping i'm like let me just hurry up and get this video out before she wakes up because once she's up youtube goodbye <laughs> i wouldn't have time so yeah but i really hope you enjoyed this video um let me know down below if you use any of these products and or if you're curious about anything just Talk to me in the comment section and subscribe if you would like to see more videos follow me on instagram if you want i'll leave my instagram handle somewhere around here i think i'm also going to do a video about the products i use for my baby let me know if you want to see that down below um yeah because i'm staring at her products right now so it might be cool to share so just let me know if you want to see that and i will see you in my next video